Good morning. As I left my hotel in Waterbury to come over to the studio today, I stopped off and picked up a copy of the Bee Intelligencer. Now, just in case you haven't had a chance to look at it, I'm going to thumb through it very quickly. Just remember anything that you'd like on that particular page, because it's going to be important in just a couple of seconds. This is reality. What I'm about to do to the newspaper is only a figment of your imagination. Let me show you what I mean. Some of you, not all of you, I know. But some of you right now think you are seeing me tear this newspaper into pieces. Some of you actually think you see torn up pages of the newspaper here in my hand. But what you have to remember is that the newspaper is reality. Tearing the newspaper is only an illusion. I think the thing that gets people the most about this, because a lot of times folks come up to me after the show and they say, Kevin, we know you tore that newspaper up because we heard it making ripping noises. We saw torn up pages of the newspaper there in your hand. Well, this is where you have to remember that the newspaper is reality. Tearing the newspaper is an illusion. And if that's the case, I should be holding here in my hand not one torn up, ripped up newspaper at all, but one very, very solid B intelligencer. That is just incredible. Holy cow. <laughs> Folks, you've been watching Kevin Spencer, an award-winning entertainer from Spencer's Theater of Illusion. That was impressive. Thank you. Kevin, I heard the pages rip. I saw it with my own eyes. <laughs> Did you really? That was really <laughs> incredible. So tell me a little bit about your act. You're going to be at Waterbury tonight. We are tonight at the Palace Theater, 7 o'clock. Should be great, great fun. The Illusion show was put together with an adult audience in mind. Okay. I didn't want mom and dad to bring the kids to the show and then kind of sit there and have to endure it for a couple hours. So it's a very sophisticated, high-tech, theatrical presentation of Grand Illusion. Mm -hmm. Extremely family friendly. Something that people of all ages will enjoy. Great. We're looking at some video right now. Uh, tell me about your background. How'd you get into this? Well, my, I, I saw my first magician perform when I was about five years old on television. Uh -huh. Got hooked by the magic bug then and uh, worked my way through college doing magic when I finished school. Uh, set out on the road. And today we're very fortunate. We're the largest touring illusion show in the United States. Really? And tonight we're going to be doing some pretty incredible things on the stage of the Palace Theater. Oh. A lot of things people haven't seen before. Uh, one of the illusions that you saw there was that giant stack of concrete blocks. Yes. Those will be out on the front edge of the stage as the audience comes into the Palace tomorrow, uh, tonight. They'll have the ability to kind of check those out, make sure they're real, and they're going to stay there. Uh -huh. And then at one point during the show, I'm going to get a gentleman from the audience up on the stage with us. Okay. And as my guy build those into a solid concrete wall and the gentleman from the audience holds onto that wall. I'm going to visibly walk from one side through the concrete Come and out on. the other side. Oh, wow. That's, that's a great. cool trick. That's pretty cool. Read a few people's minds. You could do that too, yeah. huh? Or Jack even look for traits. some people to cut up. To yeah. So if you want to come tonight and let me cut you in half, we could probably work that out. Very fun. <laughs> All right, now I want to ask you, you're also going to be uh, active in the Waterbury community. Uh, we are. Here. While we're here, we're doing some work with uh, Special Olympics uh, with a program that we call Hocus Focus. It's a really awesome way to teach simple little magic tricks mm -hmm. as a way to develop cognitive skills, motor skills, perceptual skills, and social skills. Mm -hmm. So we're going to be teaching some tricks to some really awesome kids uh, just to help build their self-confidence and self-esteem. Great. Sounds fun. All right, you're going to teach me a trick. I, see I some am going to teach you. Magic is always a lot more fun when money is involved. I agree. Huh? And this trick is 100 times better with a $100 bill. <laughs> I'm just going to well, say. Well, we'll use the $1 bill for now. <laughs> I'm going to show everybody at home this is really easy to do. All you need is a dollar bill and a couple of paper clips. So you're going to fold the bill over okay. just past George Washington's face. Okay. You put that first paper clip right on top of the number one. And then you bend this backwards. And that little tunnel there, you put your second paper clip right inside that little tunnel. Okay. So it's on the one on this side. So you have one paper clip on this side, one paper clip on this side, but they don't touch anywhere in the center. Okay. And when you grab the two top corners and you pull, the paper clips jump up in the air. How do they connect? And they link together. <laughs> It's magic, and I've got one all, and I've got one <laughs> all set on, up Kevin. for you. You're all good to go. Okay. So I'll see if I can catch yours. So you're going to grab the two top corners. Two top corners. Point them straight up in the air. Okay. And just pull. Mine are connected too. Ta-da! Oh, that is so great. Yeah, it's great fun. These are the kinds of tricks that I learned when I was small, but all of these things are used to develop 
fine motor skills, gross motor skills, planning and sequencing, organizing tasks and sure. movements. And when you're all done, you have a pretty awesome magic trick that you can show people. That's really great. <laughs> all right, now, uh, tickets are still available for tonight? They are. They As are a matter good. of fact, we have a special Halloween family treat tonight. Okay. Uh, what's remaining in the upper orchestra section, we're going to, uh, they have those on sale for $15 a ticket. Very good. So if you uh, call the box office, you can get in on a good deal. Where can we learn more about Kevin Spencer? Spencersmagic.com. Uh, there's videos there. You can check us out on YouTube. Lots Great. of fun things to see on YouTube. Join us on Facebook. All that All social that media, everything is right. right there. Let's put some information up on the screen. Spencer's Theater of Illusion is at the Waterbury Palace Theater. It's tonight at 7 o'clock. Go to palacetheaterct.org. Get your tickets there. Seems like it's going to be a great show. Thank you so much for being here and showing us the tricks. Thanks for having me. Great fun. <laughs> All right, stay with us. More Connecticut style after the break. We'll be right back.